comments. Um, Michael, thanks very much for your kind donation. Really appreciate it. Supposed to be linked to your channel, Michael, in a wee second. It's better with me. If you've got any questions, guys, about any of the trips that have been on recently, um, just leave them in the comments. We'll go through them all and I'll let you know what the plans are for the next uh, few months, hopefully. So check out Michael's channel. Thanks very much, Michael, for your kind donation. Hi, Patrick. How you doing? Thanks, Andrew. Rocky Earth Guy. Thanks for your kind donation the other day as well. Um, check out Rocky Earth Guy on YouTube as well. He's got his own channel. I think I'm a bit close to the camera. Give me a second. Uh, one tours, check out the channel as well. There's so many guys here with their own channels, it's great to see. Hold on, I'll try and fix this a wee bit of it in the other way. I might be a bit better, I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure of that. How you doing, Keith? I'm just waiting a few people coming on and I'll let you know what's happening in the next kind of few weeks. Somebody's said about drinking wine. Well, cheers. Now, what what beer do you think it is? It's not Sam Miguel. It's a different one. Let me know in the comments if you can guess. Cheers. Anne Marie and David, how are you doing? Nice to meet you in Dublin. And Patrick as well. Okay, I'm just going to catch up with some of the comments. Um, bear with me, I've got my phone out. Somebody was asking to have a budget on the trips. Um, to spend probably as little as possible normally, but to be realistic, to show you what it's like to go on holiday, you do have to go into bars and restaurants. I wouldn't be sitting in my hotel room. It'd be pretty boring, the rest of the videos. Move it back a wee bit from the camera. Far too close, haven't I? Far too close. Uh, somebody's saying 11 straight days of rain. The, the, I'm in Scotland at the moment, in case you're wondering. The weather is absolutely shocking here. Um, hopefully it's going to improve the next few days. Uh, thanks, everybody, coming on so far. We've got over 250 people on, which is amazing. I'll just catch up with all the comments. I've got a monitor behind me as well. I'll show you in a second, but uh, I'm trying to read the, the comments off this with my dodgy glasses. So they're saying they're going to Benidorm in June and Tenerife in May. That's a good combination. Spoiler alert, I'll be in Benidorm soon. Marcus and Max, how you doing? No problem, Rebecca. Let me just catch up with some of the, <laughs> the comments here. Somebody's saying with the specs that I buy, I should recycle them. These are not the ones I bought from the Chinese shop. Uh, these, I think, were only £1.50. The ones I bought from the shop, Tenerife, are €4. Euros. Somebody was asking about Park de la Paz um, Hotel, any good? Good location, I've not stayed in it. I've done a wee video recently walking around. Great location, right next to lots of good bars as well. Uh, thanks very much, Alison. Love the Arbifura vlogs going in June. Uh, might be an Arbifura later on in the year. We'll wait and see. Well, in my wee second, guys, there's so many comments. I'm struggling to keep up with them, okay? Best bars in Corre Echo, Fort Aventura, the Rock Island Bar, Sunset Lounge, and there's a few other ones as well. Yeah, let me just catch up with the comments. Apologies. I'm going to go right back to the start and I'll catch up, okay? Hey, Gordon, how you doing? Gordon, who stays in Dublin, from Pesa, lovely to meet you. Show me around Dublin. Okay, thanks, sorry. I'm just catching up with the comments. I didn't expect this many people to be on, so just bear with me a wee minute. Uh, check out Prash Super Travels. How you doing, Prash and your mum?
Somebody who stayed in, stayed in the server tour by Kiki and Gran Canaria. I thought that table was pretty decent, actually. Somebody saying, evening, Kevin, from sunny Athens, Greece. I've not been there. It's on the list. Maybe this year, maybe later on, I don't know. Somebody saying, going back to Salou for the 10th time. I'm going to need some tips from you. How you doing, Steve? Check out the North Tenerife, man. If any of the mods are on, if you don't mind posting a wee link to any of the channels that are posted here, I'd really, really appreciate it. Check out Steve's channel. He's got lots of videos in the north of Tenerife up in Porto de la Cruz. Magic McQuaid's enjoy Millenaris, the nicest resort in Gran Canaria. Some really nice hotels there. Um, might see it at the airport on Tuesday. We'll wait and see. Uh, Patrick, yeah, I'm getting lots of questions about all this tourists go home and all that because the media in the UK is so ridiculous. Um, now, you know I don't like clickbait. That's terrible, isn't it? People use clickbait. It's absolutely shocking. But the media here are on a different level. Their, uh, their videos are just ridiculous. Um, it won't really affect your holiday. There are, there are some issues in the Canaries regarding locals, accommodation, etc., and the resources. There is some questions to answer, but realistically, it's not going to affect your holiday. Had a message today from somebody on Facebook, uh, Rita and Phil, hope you're doing okay, saying that somebody phoned their hotel in Tenerife and says, is it okay, can we come? That's how crazy things have got, so you won't really notice it affecting your holiday at all. Uh, Prash, did the State Paloma Beach? No, my brother did, Paul, Laura and me, Polly. You'd have seen me, Polly, on the airport video. Uh, and they said it was quite nice, quite enjoyed it. They've got comfy sunbeds for 15 euros, uh, wee cabanas, quite nice. Uh, Pearson's Adventures, another channel to check out. How are you doing, Lee? Hope your uh, family are all doing well. Uh, great team in Porto de la Cruz. Uh, somebody's going to Santa Ponza, any tips? Santa Ponza is just full of Irish bars, really. Um, if, if, if you like Irish bars, you'll love Santa Ponza. Um, Dave's asking, what would I recommend between Corre Echo and Coletta de Fust and Fortaventura? I used to always say, Corre Echo because it's got better live music bars but I was in Coletta de Fus with Mark and Judy from the Gypsy Souls guys if you're watching in my comment um, and it's actually got some quite nice bits Coletta de Fus so I'll need to revisit it and then I'll, I'll maybe give you an updated opinion at the moment Corre Echo uh, Somebody's asking about Shisha bars I honestly don't, I've not really been in any of them there is quite a few in Tenerife I'm not sure Hi Billy, hope you uh, enjoyed Nerha. Nerha is a lovely wee place in the Costa del Sol. Um, really nice. We're going to the flights in a wee minute. Can anybody guess? Leave, leave me a wee comment. Can anybody guess when I'm going in May and June? I'll tell you what I've got flights booked for. Hopefully I'll make them all. You never know till last minute. But I'll tell you what the plans are in May and June. I'm going to be away next week. Um, possibly in a couple of places I'll tell you one of them in a wee second as well somebody's asking about Mallorca check out my friend's channel Alex at Mallorca Under the Sun loads of videos of Mallorca I'm in hot wee Polly is a superstar she certainly is check out the video from Tenerife Airport I think it's titled something like, look who I met at the airport Polly is a superstar Uh, somebody mentioned Zante, that's a possibility later in the year maybe, not the next couple of months. Uh, out and about with Ash, check out Ash's channel as well, ask him what do they think of Belfast, I've been to Belfast a few times, um, it's quite good for a night out, quite liked it, the video's done pretty average in Belfast, they've done better in Dublin, so maybe one day I'll return.
So I'm just saying flights are getting dear from Scotland to Tenerife. There's actually some really good deals on flights in the next couple of months. Check out skyscanner.net. You'll find some real bargains. <laughs> uh, some days, give me a wee update on what the score might be between St Mern and Hearts at the weekend. I hope that's not true. Uh, Carol, I didn't see the Martin Lewis thing for EasyJet cheap flights. Is that when they released the winter sale? You need to book them right away, it might be that. Uh, Scott, interested in going to the Canaries at New Year? Is it silly prices? The honest answer is yes. The Canaries at New Year, because you're almost guaranteed brilliant weather, is very, very expensive. A lot of people will say it's worth it, but it's expensive. Um, somebody's asking what's Estepona like not being there uh, somebody's asking Tina Malaga city centre beautiful great tapas bars have a drink next to the cathedral cracking city Malaga especially the centre really nice when you get outside the centre it's not as nice but the very centre of Malaga near the cathedral beautiful um, Ian's asking about golf to saw and mobility issues um, pretty f flat golf to surgery. Really. You can walk all the way to Los Abrigos, so I wouldn't say it's that hilly, no. Paul, enjoy your three trips you've got coming up there. Andrew, Arsenal fan, are you going to win the league? Don't know, it's going to be a tight one, isn't it? Yeah, Denise was saying the issue in Tenerife and the other Canaries. The accommodation is getting all rented out, Airbnb, locals can't get accommodation, workers are having to head way outside, lost Chris Chance, Las Americas to get anything affordable. That is a big issue, but have been honest with you, it's not going to affect your holiday going to Tenerife or any of the other Canaries. Somebody mentioned they need to try Thailand. Yes, I agree with that. The only thing is that's going to need to be quite a long trip, and I don't do that many long trips. Uh, Billy's camera, how you doing Billy? Long time no see. Um, check out Billy's channel, he's got a couple of wee videos on there. Um, I think it's harder in October to get good deals for Terry. You need to be flexible on your dates Billy. Michael from Edinburgh, Edinburgh and beyond. You're, you're virgin on a band saying come on the hearts. Michael's a hearts fan, he's playing my team at the weekend. Michael, that's your final warning. Um, Alan's asking, have I been in the Columbus in Las Americas? I've not been in it, but there's a lot of groups in the Columbus, so personally, I wouldn't book in it if I was looking for a quiet holiday, because you could be next to a group of guys, group of girls. Um, I've heard people saying they love it, they go all the time. I've heard other people saying it was a bit noisy, so it just depends. Somebody's asked about Alicante in May. That's a possibility. Let me tell you about that in a minute. Yeah, somebody said you need to visit Albania. It does look quite interesting. Not sure the videos will get many views in Albania, but we'll wait and see. Uh, somebody's asking Kevin, any plans to return to Fingerola? And enjoy the videos there. Unfortunately, I think this year, Costa del Sol, I'm probably going to skip, and I really like the Costa del Sol, because the videos the last time I went didn't do that well, so I might give it a break, maybe go back next year. Okay, Alan's saying he got a flight to Tenerife in October for £148 return. That's pretty good, Alan. That's a good deal. Uh, Lynn, would I consider Dubai? Yes and no. The type of videos that I do, I don't think there's going to be that much to film in Dubai, so I'm not 100% sure. But let me know if you've got any recommendations. Leave me a comment, not in the live chat, but in the comments. Any recommendations? Yeah, Brian, I know I will be going further a few later in the year. My passport actually needs renewed, so there's some places I can't go just now. Pearson's Adventures, you definitely need to come up here and do a um, 
video for your football channel, 100%. If you ever come up to St Martin game, let me know. We'll meet for a beer. Uh, somebody's asked, I think the beer prices will go up in Tenerife soon. Yeah, probably a wee bit. Yeah, somebody mentioned when I stayed in the Caps show in Porto de la Cruz. That was an interesting night. That that actually was fine, that hotel. I stayed in Moss. Yeah, somebody's going to Marmaris, check out the videos they've done in Turkey. Okay, just catching up with all the videos. I'm really sorry. There's so many people on here. I'm just trying to catch up with them. Um, Annette saying Cyprus in May. Cyprus video's done okay, pretty average. I think probably Cyprus. I'll wait till next year again and go. Never say never if a good deal comes up. Uh, Favourite restaurant in Puerto Rico, Gran Canaria. The Chinese restaurant was really nice. Can't remember the name of it now. Was it Kai Chinese? Really nice. Uh, somebody's asking about Park Club Europe and Las Americas. Great location. I've got a video walking into it. I don't know what the rooms are like. I don't know what the food's like, but the location's good. Uh, Steve, you've seen a beach holiday in North Macedonia. My daughter has actually stayed in North Macedonia for about a month. Um, I'll visit it one day, but I don't think the videos would do very well there. Daniel, lovely to meet you in Glasgow. George asking, what do I think of the Vault Bar in Tenerife? The Vault Bar is one of the best bars in Tenerife and Los Cristianos. Eh, lovely couple own it as well. I was speaking to the girl, Jadine, who owns it last time. Really nice. Good live music. Eh, nice bar, nice staff. Recommended. Sharon's asking, when am I going back to Benidorm? I'll tell you that in a wee second, OK? I'm going to catch up with the rest of the comments. Next week, all going well, you never know, all going well, I'm going to be in Budapest for at least one or two days. So if anybody's been to Budapest and can recommend some walks, bars, restaurants, then let me know. So that's the first place I'll tell you about, Budapest. We'll talk about other ones in a wee minute. Angela, you're in Beno Madina just now, enjoy. Michael's asking, am I going to the St. Martin Hearts game? Yes, I am going on Saturday. Hi, Marie. Lovely to meet you in Lanzarote. Um, Favourite bars in Tenerife, somebody was asking. Um, yeah, we mentioned a few. Taylor's, The Vault, Los Cristianos, um, La Therese for breakfast. Uh, Fountain Bar, Los Cristianos, you like as well. Las Americas, Dublin or Late Night Bar, really good. All the bars in the Park de La Paz Strip. Marshall's Bar in Las Americas as well. Radio Subich in Las Americas. Um, obviously, I've been Scottish, pop into the Scotsman Pool Bar in Costa Adeke as well. Scotch Corner, so many bars in Tenerife. Brian was saying he can't believe the prices, how they went up. Um, yes and no. I've been looking at hotels in Benidorm and they're still very affordable compared to other places, especially Tenerife. Um, out and about with Ash. Yeah, a cruise. I'm considering that later in the year. Uh, somebody's saying about consider going to Bulgaria. There's not many flights from Scotland from Bulgaria. Uh, Johan was saying you were attacked a few times in Tenerife. Seems to be a tough, dodgy spot now. I've never been attacked really in Tenerife. I've lost a phone through my own stupidity down at Veronica's years ago, but I've never had any problems. Um, you will get problems in any resort that's quite busy. Now and again, if you're out at 2 or 3 in the morning, you're in the wrong bit. But I'm in Tenerife probably more than most people, and I've never really had any issues. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but yeah, it can happen anywhere. Gordon and Hazel, thanks so much for your kind donation. Um, I met you in Terry for a few years ago now. Um, thanks for your kind words as well. 
Uh, Paul's asking me to consider going to some other places in Ireland or Northern Ireland. Yep, definitely. Uh, Pine Rock's saying they booked three holidays after watching the videos. They better be good. That's pressure. I hope they are good. Some doing from Minnesota, US. That's absolutely great. Ibiza. Okay. Um, I'm not sure, Lily, about Ibiza. Ibiza is really nice, one of my favourite places. Lily, if you go into the homepage on the playlist, I've got about 20 videos, 30 maybe, in Ibiza. Um, they didn't do very well on the channel, but they're actually quite good videos, I think. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Tina. If you have any tips about the pest, let me know. <laughs> Denise has mentioned the Molly Malone's in Porto de la Cruz. A brilliant bar. No aircon, I can tell you that. Thanks, Alan. I remember you gave the heads up on the cheap Tenerife flights. A lot of people booked those flights. Travel fanatic, you're in Budapest next weekend. Oh, great. Bobby, enjoy golf, do sir. Uh, Tommy Higgins asking, is Tenerife accessible? Yes and no. Um, if you're staying in the promenade, anywhere in Los Cristianos, Las Americas, Adeki, right down at the promenade, any of the hotels right on the beachfront, you won't really have many hills to navigate. If you stay up the top in hills, then you could have some issues. So pick your hotel wisely. There is a, um, a few hotels that have got adapted rooms. The Hotel Volcano in Las Americas. It's got ground floor adapted rooms for wheelchairs um, and mobility issues. There's another one called, I think it's called the maybe the Marwai Saw in Los Cristianos. It's just past the vault. That's adapted for wheelchair users as well, but it is up a hill, that one. So, yeah, if you stick down to the front, you won't have any issues. Uh, somebody said, well, I'll go to Santorini or Crete. Santorini looks beautiful, but it looks like one day trip for me to do all the videos and then head somewhere else. So maybe Crete's a bit bigger, so yeah, maybe. <laughs> Vinny, I got attacked in Tenerife, but she charged 100 euros per hour for it. <laughs> it's a good deal, Vinny. Uh, okay. <laughs> Somebody's mentioned Hamburg. Uh, Prash Super Travels is saying, what's your favourite area in Lanzarote and why? Uh, if I had to pick a holiday in Lanzarote, I'd go to Porto del Carmen because it's got loads of bars with live music um, and I quite like it. Uh, Play Bank is nice as well, but it's quieter vibe and same with Costa Teguise. I could stay anywhere in Lanzarote. It's definitely my second favourite Canary Island. Cheers. Have the guest to be here yet? <laughs> Kenny, a wee shout out to Yv Yvonne and Dunfermline and um, she sent a wee video of doing an impersonation I do remember that in Villa Moura might be in Villa Moura later in the, in the year we'll wait and see Alan asking how close to 90 day limit yeah, I don't think very close Alan I don't go away that much so hopefully not Um. Lorraine, I'm not sure about East Milan, Turkey, sorry. That's right, Keith. I was attacked by a couple of wild dogs in Turkey. Always getting attacked by dogs. Makes a good video, good title. Uh, Pearson's Adventures, yeah, I have changed a couple of thumbnails. I um, outsourced a couple because I can't do thumbnails. Um, and I do a couple of myself as well. Somebody's going to Laguna Part 1, enjoy it in Tenerife. Margaret, how you doing? And you're 80. Oh, great. And you love the videos. Thanks very much, Margaret. A wee shout out to you. And um, before I forget, so we're going to Budapest next week. And there might be a couple other places that will get filmed later on. We'll wait and see. Then, then 
in May, I have booked flights. The first ones I'll tell you about that I've booked are to Barcelona, and I'm hoping to go to Salou as well. So if anybody knows Barcelona or Salou, leave me a wee comment, not in the live chat, but in the comments. So at the start of May, the plans are Barcelona and Salou, and I'll tell you when I'm going after that in a wee minute. I'll just catch up with the comments. Uh, somebody's asked me to go to Crete this year, possibly. Uh, Favourite restaurants from Los Cristianos, Tenerife, uh, El Bergado for a steak, Hideaway Tapas Bar, uh, probably, and Indians, uh, Tandoori Hut, probably. Yeah, check out all things Tenerife, check out uh, Keith's channel, Asking, somebody's saying they enjoyed the vlog, yeah, I'll do another one when I see Keith again, probably, yeah. Yeah, somebody's saying that they caught somebody putting their hand in a bag in Las Americas. Yeah, you just need to be careful, especially in certain areas, but it can happen anywhere. Uh, Tommy, you're asking about the Tenerife Sur Apartments. Sorry. Um, they are up a hill, the Tenerife Sur Apartments. It depends on the apartment you get located. I know they've got studios with uh, air conditioning, and the one bedrooms are really hot. They don't have aircon, most of them. So... The pool area and that seems quite accessible. There is quite a bit of land around there that's quite flat, a lot of bars you can walk to, but you are in quite a hilly location up in Tenerife, so you're halfway up Caldeac Hill. Uh, Maggie may have I been to Croatia, not yet, but that's on the list. Hi Trisha, lovely to meet you in Tenerife. Alison, I never told you what I'm drinking. We can of Australia. Cheers. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Not Forest fan. Thanks for watching. Okay, and that's it. Marwai Salt and they lost Chris Janis. I've nearly stayed there before. Um, don't think the rooms have got aircon, so again, for me, quite risky. But if you've got any uh, mobility issues or if you're in a wheelchair, I think it's the best apartments in that area. They've got lifts going into all the pools, um, all the rooms are adapted, so it's a, it's a specialist hotel um, that's got good disabled access. Edinburgh and beyond. Michael, you're asking about the North Coast 500, which looks amazing, but Scotland videos just don't do well for me. Um, maybe one day I'll do it, we'll wait and see. Somebody's saying they went to Mallorca from New Jersey, Newark, and it cost $800. Wow, that's expensive flights. Uh, Martin's saying, if I tried the Falkland Islands up, too cold for me there, Martin. Oh, uh, Wagwan Tours, thanks a lot. We've got a lot of suggestions for uh, Barcelona. Send me an email. Um, if you can, um, I think my email address is somewhere on the channel or a message on Facebook. Just check out Facebook, Scotsman in Tenerife. Raymond Thied, how are you doing? So, if you've just joined the chat, and there's about 300 people on. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, a wee update so far Budapest next week. We've also got a Cheapest Flight series coming up to a mystery destination. You'll see that on the channel soon as well. I won't reveal that one just now. Um, start of May, the plan is Barcelona uh, and hopefully Salou. We'll wait and see what order, but Barcelona and Salou, that's the start of May. Cambrils, I've heard, is nice next to Salou as well, yeah. Good to hear, Daniel. You enjoy Scotch Mist. Uh, Matthew, I was in Terry for seven days last trip. There's a video coming out tomorrow, uh, probably tomorrow night, and I'll tell you how much it costs for seven days in Terry. I'll just tell you how much the flights cost and how much the hotels were, um, and my opinion on them. Somebody's saying they stayed at Agomar and Los Cristianos, good location there. 
Uh, somebody's saying, what's the best Jack and Andy Hotel like in Tenerife? Uh, I've not stayed in it, to be honest with you. Um, it's in a decade. I'm not a big fan of the location. It's a wee bit far out for me. It's only a five-minute walk to bars and restaurants, but that's still far out for me. Um, I've not been in it. Uh, Prash Super Travels. Uh, Fort, Fort Ventura, your choices will be Coletta de Fust or Cori Echo. Um, I would check out my videos I've done, Prash, and see what you think you might like. Um, maybe more bars of live music. And Cori Echo, they're both quite small resorts. Maybe Cori Echo will be a bit bigger. Hi, David Lee. Adam's asking, have I ever been to North Tenerife? Loads of times. I've done videos on Porto de la Cruz and Santa Cruz. Check out the North Tenerife man. Steve's got his own channel. He's done lots of videos on Porto de la Cruz. And we'll be back there later in the year. Uh, Lily, no flights from to Fortaventura. What you want to do is get to Lanzarote and get the ferry over. It takes half an hour if you can. Uh, somebody's asking to enjoy Father Aki. Father Aki, I think, was quieter than expected. It used to be really quite wild, I think. A strip of bars, one big street. It's calmed down quite a lot, much like Cavos and Corfu. Um, so it was okay. Would I go on a week holiday at my age to Falaraki? Probably not, but it was fine, yeah. Uh, Maria, you're in Lost Christian, you're hoping to go to San Blas, you go, go off to Sir. Um, I believe there's a bus that goes there. Um, Maybe take 40 minutes. It's not that far, actually. The traffic seems to be always pretty bad there. Somebody's asking, is the Paradise Park Hotel at the top of the hill in Los Cristianos? It's almost right at the top, so it's very hilly location. Quite a nice hotel. I've done quite a few videos. I've got a playlist on it. You'll see the breakfast, the evening meal, and um, the rooms. Yeah, so it's fine. Yeah, somebody's saying a wee tour of the States would be great. I'm thinking of going to New York and Vegas, but the flights are killer. It's pretty pricey as well. I have found some cheap flights to New York in September, going via Dublin. I'm considering it. Eh, we need a new passport. I don't know how the visitors will be doing in New York. We'll wait and see. Out and about with Ash. Any tips for Barcelona, let me know. Uh, Daniel's asking if I thought about visiting France. Yes, um, probably at one point I'll do Paris. Uh, also recommended Poland, Krakow, and, uh, or Krakow and a few other places. Yeah, I've been there, but maybe go back again. Sorry, I'm just catching up with all the comments. Uh, Paddy, you're saying Valencia is worth a visit. The good news is, Paddy, I've been to Valencia and done a lot of videos. Uh, I've got a wee playlist, well, maybe done 10. It's quite a nice city, Valencia. Videos done terrible in Valencia, um, which is a shame, but it's a really nice city. Thanks for the kind words, John and Alison. Yeah, I'm only going to be in Budapest for a very short period of time, so I might not do it justice. But uh, if you've got any tips, let me know. Margaret and Stephen from Bailison, thanks very much for watching the vlogs. Thanks, Mark. Neil asked him a 50 yet. That is approaching very, very soon. May. Uh, thanks, Alison. Yeah, always recommend other travel vloggers. Uh, Steve Marsh, Scottish guy, has got a brilliant channel. Uh, planes, trains, and everything. Check out Scott from Paisley as well. Earlier on, I was watching. Um, I can't remember the guy's names. Is it Carol Carol Watson travel documentary? Fantastic channel, one of the best ever. So yeah, 
always recommend good travel channels. Hi Becky, lovely to meet you in Portable Carmen with your family. Um, Alan asked if I stayed in the Poabo Turbiscus, that's the Sunset Harbour apartments in the decade. Uh, I stayed in Sunset Harbour part of the same complex, nice complex, quite a good location, we go back again no problem. Uh, somebody's asked if I've been to Madrid, not yet, it's on the list. David Lee's asking, am I going back to Benidorm? He's going on the 25th of May. Cheers. Well, that's the next one we're going on to. So hopefully after Barcelona and Salou, we're then later on in the month going to Alicante, which obviously means I'm going to have to go to Benidorm. So Benidorm is a must-visit place for me um, at least once a year. So hopefully we may be back in Benidorm. I don't need really any ideas for Benidorm because I know it pretty well. But if anybody knows anything um, that I don't know, let me know. Um, but yeah, Benidorm, that'll be me as well. Yeah, Tina, I know Barcelona's going to be expensive accommodation. I've already looked at that. We'll wait and see. Oh, Eric, lovely to meet you at Hollywood Mirage. Uh, you were telling me about the issues with your room. I hope you get it sorted. Hollywood Mirage is a really nice complex. Um, you might die walking up the hill, but it's a really nice complex. Uh, somebody's asking, will I go to Port Aventura when I'm in Salou? That's a big theme park. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. No, I don't have any interest in theme parks whatsoever. I wouldn't even go in the dodgems, probably. So <laughs> I can't do it. Um, if I was younger and I had kids with me, maybe I would do it. But yeah, I'll never go to Disney and do vlogs. I won't go to any Alton Towers, anything like that. Um, there's loads of other people who do good vlogs there anyway. I'm sorry if I've missed any comments. I'm just going through them as fast as I can. Uh, Dirty Leeds, you're going to Sidari. What did you think of it? Sidari is quite a nice wee resort. Um, just really the one pro promenade street with quite a few nice bars and restaurants. A couple of live music. I thought it was fine. So the, John's asking what transfer they take um, to my destination in Tenerife from the airport. Always the public bus, number 40. Two euros 50 probably. Most of the time I got off at Lost Chris. 20 minutes. It's the easiest way. Somebody's asking me to do Florida. Probably not, because there's not many walking videos there, apart from International Drive. I've got no interest in the theme parks, so I don't really know what I'd film there. Let me know if I'm wrong, but if there's anything else to film, let me know. Webby's on, Webby Boom. Check out Webby's Sports Roundup. If any of the mods are on, post a wee link to Webby's channel as well. Yeah, Mark, hopefully New York will be incredible. Uh, Marco asking any thoughts on Germany or Scandinavia? Definitely. I, w I really want to go to Copenhagen, Oslo. Um, and if you've missed the previous videos, I've mentioned this in a few of my videos, that's another destination. I should be in Germany in June at the Euros. So I'm likely I'm going to be in Dusseldorf, maybe, Cologne, possibly Dortmund. Uh, I don't know how many vlogs will get done. That could be difficult. If anybody knows how to get tickets, for Scotland, Switzerland, let me know. I'm looking for six tickets for that game. Uh, Johan saying, how can I afford to do all the trips? What's the average annual income from full-time vlogging? Johan, you are in luck. I've actually wrote a wee ebook behind the scenes. Um, I'll post a link in the comments after it, and you can check it out. It'll cost you a fiver. I'll show you exactly how YouTube works. It's just a numbers game. You get paid per views. The amount of subscribers makes no difference whatsoever, really. It's all to do with the views. So you can check that out.
Uh, somebody's asking, will Ben Lanzarote in September? I'm afraid not. If you're a Lanzarote fan, check out um, Traveling World, friend Dave, a great channel. And uh, check out Ben's PH as well. But Dave's got hundreds of videos on Lanzarote. I won't be back in Lanzarote. I don't think I'll be back this year, actually. Probably January next year. M could maybe go before the end of the year at the end, but probably January next year. Uh, Pete and Shell saying Madeira is fantastic. It does look very nice, Madeira. I'm not sure how many videos I could do there. Maybe one or two days. We'll wait and see. Uh, Catherine, yes, Prague looks interesting. That's one of the places I've got on the list to go later on in the year as well. Somebody's asked me to ever do meetup trips. Well, if if you're ever around and I'm doing the videos, then you'll meet me, especially in Tenerife. Somebody's asking about a trip to Great Yarmouth. Well, again, UK videos don't do that well. Although, saying that I've got one video in Blackpool that's got about 100,000 views, and um, you can check it out on the playlist. Uh, <laughs> Neil's asking what have we got planned for the Big 50. Nothing yet at the moment. I'm waiting on the fixtures coming out to see if we're St Murna playing. If St Murna playing in Paisley that weekend, I'll be in Paisley. Um, but my birthday falls on a Wednesday. It's a kind of rubbish day for a 50th, a Wednesday. I'll be going to some bar somewhere. Hey, David, if you've just joined the chat, where am I going next? Next week, the plan is to be in Budapest. I might also be a couple of other places, but you'll keep an eye on the channel. You'll We'll wait and see how I got on. So I'm going to be in Budapest for a very quick trip. Then after that, um, maybe somewhere else to be confirmed. And the start of May, hopefully, I will be in uh, Barcelona and Salou. And middle of May, I'll be in Alicante and Benidorm. And June, mid-June, Germany for the Euros. And the start of June, Somewhere else, I'll tell you in a few minutes. Uh, Peter, have I been to Lisbon? Yes, Lisbon was quite a nice city. Uh, I've got maybe about 10, 12 videos on the playlist. They did do very well. City break videos for me don't do that well, but uh, I quite enjoyed going. Ian, out of all the places that I visited, what's your number one? It depends what you're looking for, Ian. It depends on the deal. If you're going in the winter, Terry's the number one place to go, just purely, purely because the weather's fantastic. And if you're going in the summer, nice places, scenic places, Malaga city centre, Nerha's lovely. Um, yeah, quite a few interesting places I've been to, so it just depends. I quite like the Algarve, Albufeira as well, quite like that as well. Yeah, sorry, just catching up with the, the comments. Yeah, somebody said that I've ever been to Mahon, Menorca. I've not been there, I'm afraid. Um, maybe one day, we'll wait and see. Yeah, Marco's asking, how do you make money from live streams? Well, it depends. Um, people watching it, there's no ads. Although YouTube are starting to put ads now in live streams. But Anybody watching it on replay, you'll get ads, and if anybody donates money, obviously that YouTube take one third of that. But the donations go towards the channel as well. So live streams are not really, they're not great for the channel for me. They don't grow the channel that much. Um, I prefer just doing my normal walking videos. But now and again, I'll do a live video like this because I've got no videos left to show you. Basically, but one video out tomorrow. And that's it. Uh, somebody's asking what's Protaris like in Cyprus. Protaris was my favourite resort in Cyprus because it's just one strip and it's got bars with live music. It's got quite a nice beach area. It's pretty simple, but it's a nice wee resort. Uh, Daniel's asking what's better, Mallorca or Menorca. I've not been to Menorca. Mallorca's a lot busier. 
Uh, Mr. Mac, favourite restaurant, Portado Carmen. I quite like the Chinese the golden chopsticks, but the last time I was in, I didn't think it was that great. Uh, check out Mark and Judy from the Gypsy Souls channel. They've done quite a few restaurant reviews. They've got one in particular they love. I can't remember the name of it now, but check out their channel. Uh, somebody saying, where would you go in September, October? Anywhere mainland Europe, September is normally quite hot. In October, be careful. If you're going to be in middle October, some of the Balearic resorts start to kind of shut down and some other places like uh, Greece start to get quieted as well. But the weather's still pretty good. Uh, Joanne's asking what about Las Vegas. I've been to Vegas three times. I wish I had my camera with me. Uh, maybe one day the flight's a killer, but it's a 10-hour flight. Adam saying, have you thought about going to Dubrovnik or Split? Yes. I've met a couple of viewers actually at Glasgow Airport who went to Split and they said it was beautiful. They said it wasn't cheap, mind you, but they said it was really nice. Uh, Peter, yeah, cruise is planned at one point. Favourite resort in Greece, somebody's asking. Um... At the places I went to, Corfu and Rhodes. Rhodes Town was really nice, but again, would I stay there a week? No, but wasn't enough going on, but it was nice for a day. Um, let me think where else in Rhodes. Um, Lindos was lovely, that was quite nice. And uh, Corfu, yeah, maybe Sedaria. Yeah. Uh, somebody's asking about changing the channel name, yeah. I'm still thinking about it. Thanks, Amory, for the forward advice. So the Formula One's in Barcelona, me, is it? Didn't know that, Gary. I'll check that out. Uh, somebody's asking, would I go to Australia? Probably not. The flight's too long for me. I don't know if the videos would do that well. Yeah, Denise, I know the guy walked from the wild side. I see him doing a few videos of the Mac Master. He does really well in Blackpool, doesn't he? Somebody's asking how often do I go to watch St Mon? Um, quite often when they're at home. My dad, my sister and my daughter's got a season ticket and quite, quite often I'm there with them as well. Uh, somebody's saying, will I go back to Greece or Cyprus? I think I'll go somewhere different in Greece um, this year. Uh, Cyprus probably the next year again. Okay, I see a few people comment and check out a view from us channel as well. Um, I know the We've got 50, 60 subscribers to the new channel. Check them out. So somebody's saying, Jason, you were in Inverness and you get room 306, the same room as me in the Premier Inn. Um, Inverness is a nice wee city. I'm, going, I'm actually going back to Inverness in the summer. I might do another vlog there. We'll see. It's a nice wee city. Um, Shady Tree saying, Kev, Tenerife for Benidorm. What's your favourite? I've done a wee video on that. Uh, Benidorm in the summer, Tenerife in the winter. Benidorm's the best resort for live music and entertainment. Um, fantastic. John from Iceland, lovely to see you. I've not heard from you for a while. I was wondering if you're still watching. John is one of the very few people who's got merchandise on the channel. He's got a Scotsman in Tenerife mug. He posted a wee picture in Iceland. Uh, somebody's asking about thoughts on Santa Ponza. Pretty lively Santa Ponza at night. Full of Irish bars. Kind of younger vibe. So, yeah, I would say younger vibe. Thanks, Steve, for your kind tips. Uh, Catherine, my daughter's going to uh, the Olympics in Paris. She's actually got a ticket to go and see one of the events there. But I don't know. We'll wait and see. Thanks very much. Somebody's commenting on the roads videos there. Uh, a view from us. Check out the channel on YouTube saying I've ever been to roads yet. Check out the playlist. I've done quite a lot of videos on roads. I actually quite enjoyed my wee trip roads. It was very, very hot when I was on roads. I can't remember what, what month it was. 
At one point, one day, the camera stopped working. I got the ferry over from Marmaris in Turkey. Um, quite enjoyed it. Cheers. Emma saying, would they go to Northern Cyprus? That'd be quite interesting, I think. I don't think the video would get that many views. I, I kind of roughly know what videos get views in this channel, so we'll wait and see. Um, Ian asking about the La Mirana apartments. Brilliant location just off the promenade in Porto do Carmen, Lanzarote. If you're up the top near the reception, it's, it, it's the steepest hill in the world. It's a real killer. If you're down the bottom, there's a wee gate that brings you out in the promenade. So the apartments are fine. They didn't have aircon, so they'll be very hot if you're going in the summer. Thanks, Joyce. Mr. Maxim, what's the most nervous moment you've ever had? Probably when I was in Lanzarote and two guys tried to keep me in a hotel and phone the police. Um, that's probably the most nervous I was, but it ended well. Somebody's asked, are Liverpool going to win the Premier League? Of course they are, of course. Hope so. Colin, enjoy Porto del Carmen. Somebody's asked, have I been to Calabona in Mallorca? Uh, not yet. Uh, thanks for the tips. If anybody's got any tips on Salou, Barcelona, Budapest, leave them in the comments, not in the live chat, so I can I don't miss them in the comments. I really appreciate that. Uh, we man going to Alcudia, that's a great family resort. Check out Mallorca Under the Sun channel. I've done quite a few videos on Alcudia when I was there. Yeah, somebody's saying the flights from Budapest to Athens are really cheap. I'm not going to be able to fly from Budapest on this trip one time, maybe. <laughs> How you doing, Jerry? Sam Miguel, the poor man's Australia. It's a Sam Miguel glass, Jerry, but it's actually Australia. Uh, somebody's asked if I've been to Prague. No, I've not been to Prague. Not yet. But I'm going to go, but... Um, so the next set of flights are booked. Again, all these flights are booked. I won't know till last minute. Hopefully I'll make them all. So if you've just joined the chat, uh, a wee update where I'm going. Budapest, the next trip. That's going to be a very quick trip, but we'll see how much I get filmed there. And after that, maybe somewhere else. Then in the start of May... Plan is uh, Salou, Barcelona, middle of May, Benidorm, and the start of June, a quick trip back to Mallorca. So I didn't go there last year, so it's going to be Mallorca, the start of June, hopefully. Um, middle of June is going to be Germany for the Euros, probably Dusseldorf, Cologne, and Dortmund, if I get a chance to take videos, I can't guarantee that. Um, so then we've got July, August, September, and October left in the kind of summer months. So if you've got any recommendations, let me know in the comments. Thanks, Michael. Check out La Panida. Looks nice. Um, somebody's asking, have I been to Zagreb, a stunning city? It looks really nice. I'm definitely planning to go. All these places we mentioned that have not booked yet. Croatia, Italy, um, Norway, Denmark, Prague, they're all on the list. It's just going to depend on the deals and the thing you get away. Neil, thanks very much for your kind offer. That's fine. Don't you leave in behind the bar? That's fine. Watching the videos supports the channel enough. I really appreciate that. Robert, sorry to hear Ryan there have cancelled your flights. That's a shame. Uh, North Tenerife man, uh, Steve, I will be back in Porto de la Cruz, I'll be staying, it's going to be October, 
November or December. I will one day in Porto de la Cruz doing videos, and then at night I'll be Molly Malone's probably um, roasting in there. Great barber. Uh, so I'll catch you later on in the year, definitely. And you can show me a couple of places in Porto de la Cruz that I've not uh, been to. Steve, did you know there's a hotel in Porto de la Cruz that Michael Jackson stayed in? Did you know that? I've actually been in it years ago. I had a wee guided tour of it. We'll discuss that when I go back up there. Uh, somebody's asking, have I ever been to Formentera near Ibiza? I've not been, but it looks as if there's nothing to film in it. There's nothing on it. It looks nice, but peaceful. I do think possibly my parents have been, my mum and dad might have been, and they went when it was raining and there wasn't really anything to do. Um, so, yeah, any islands, we, the way I judge a, a place, basically, for doing the videos, is how many 10-minute videos can I do in a place. That's why you've not seen me going to La Gomera and other places from Tenerife on the ferry because there's not enough videos to justify the trip for me. So, yeah, I need to take that in consideration. Yeah, Jerry, I did notice that, but Prague, um, the foot's doing a wee bit better. It's still really bad, but it's doing a wee bit better. Yeah. Uh, Karen Devlin, happy birthday for tomorrow. All the best. Thanks for watching all the videos. Um, thanks, Jamie. Okay, Alan, I'll get some tips off you for the Bravnik. Um, somebody's asking if I've been to Australia. No, flight's too long for me. Kev. There's a Liverpool bar in Salute. You know I'm going to be going there. That's 100% going to be one of the videos. I'm going to be going to the Liverpool bar. Thanks very much. Um, Michael, yeah, Green Garden Eco Resort in Las Americas near the golf course. I have seen that um, a few times. I don't, I'm not keen on the location of it. It's too far out for me, but I've heard it's really nice, so... I maybe got one day to do a wee video. Um, Hugh is saying, have you ever been anywhere you'd never go back to? Um, not really. For a holiday, maybe Agadir in Morocco wasn't great. Just didn't have much of a vibe to it. It was quite expensive for, for, for drink as well. Anywhere else I wouldn't go back to? Naples was a bit crazy, but quite interesting. Would I go back on holiday? Maybe not, because it's not very relaxing, but it was interesting, so I don't know about that. Let me think about that one. The worst hostel in Tenerife. I've got a video on that. Check out on the channel. The Horror Hostel in Los Cristianos. Ah, Steve, you know the hotel, I see. Uh, Christine, safe places for female travellers. If you're travelling on your own, well, every place I've been to, I'm going to be honest, most places I think are absolutely fine. Pick a hotel quite close to the bars and restaurants you're going to be going to so you don't have a big long walk home at night or the hotel is not in an isolated area. Um, lovely places I've been to, I think, for solo travellers. Depends what you like. Um, Ibiza, I think, is lovely. Escanar, Santelalia. Nerhan, the Costa del Sol is lovely. Um, yeah, even the old town, Al Albafura, lovely as well. So quite a lot of uh, choices. I've never I've never really been anywhere I thought it's really that bad. If you're going to a busier resort that's got a strip, let's say like Maglo for Benidorm, you wouldn't probably stay there um, if you want a quiet holiday. But again, if you're in a hotel near Evan, it's fine. It depends how far you're going to walk. Danny boy, nice to meet you. And uh, La Coletta, when I was going in trying to find the rugby, I never did find the rugby. So I was outside the hotel. Hold on a minute, I need to open this can of beer. I was outside the hotel in uh, La Coletta, and it was a, they had a sports bar, but there was a catch. The sports bar wasn't open. There was a massive rugby game on. I think it was a rugby World Cup, and uh, the sports bar wasn't even open. So 
I think if you're on a sports bar, you probably should have it open when the Rugby World Cup's on, I would say. I would say that's one of the main criteria for sports bars. Lovely to meet you. Barry, recommendations. Porto, I'd like to quite go there because I've been to Lisbon, I've been to Abafura, so that we can finish the list there. Um, definitely. Sevilla feels lovely one day. Um, and you're in Benidorm, 21st to 28th of May. Well, I might see you about. Hold on a second. <laughs> My phone's froze there, my mistake. I was saying staying at Sea Club Mediterranean. I'll could I'm sorry, I don't know the the resorts really, the hotels in Alcudia. Check out Mallorca under the Sun channel, but um there's probably maybe been a wee walkthrough in there, they'll give you some information in that as well. Um somebody's asking, would I go to Marseille? Monaco or Nice, definitely, yeah. Uh, William Gdansk in uh, Poland, yeah, that looks interesting as well. Uh, John's asked me when we're back in Tenerife. I won't be in Tenerife during the summer at all. Um, you never know, John, you might see me around later on in the month. I might not. Can't 100% guarantee it, we'll wait and see. Um, out of Malaga or Almeria, what's better for families? I've not been to Almeria. Malaga didn't have much of a family vibe to me. It was more of a city break place. Um, so I'm not sure about that one. Uh, Neil, uh, Neil Davison, check out Neil's channel as well. Give us a place that you'd recommend that surprised you it was better than you thought. Um... Let me think about that one. Better than I thought. I think the first time I ever went to Albafura, it was better than I thought. It was more lively than I thought. Um, let me really think about that one. Malaga City Centre was better than I thought as well. I'm trying to think anywhere else that I've been recently. Valencia was a nice city as well, but they're more city breaks. If we think about that one. Somebody's asked about Venice. That's a maybe. Who do you say? He's a Morton fan who are the big rivals of St Martin and he still says he loves the videos. Thanks very much for watching. I hope Morton do well this year. Be good to get the derbies back. Somebody's off to Puerto Rico. Have you stayed at Ocean Hill there? I've not stayed there, I'm afraid not. Uh, Les Asson, do you play golf? Very badly. 25, 26 handicapper. Uh, Gary's asking what airline do I find the most pricey um, to the Med and he, he thinks that Jet 2 are the most pricey. I probably would agree with that. Uh, they're mo mo the most expensive. Always find the cheapest flights normally are with Ryanair, normally. Um, the only thing about Jet 2, but they're quite generous with a luggage allowance. So sometimes you can save money with 10 kilograms hand luggage compared to the other airlines. EasyJet are quite strict as well, so depends. Somebody was saying Venice is a bit like Paisley. I don't think so. Uh, Dave, what's my favourite resort in Gran Canaria? Well, for live music and entertainment, Puerto Rico is the best resort. Um, all the best bars are up in the shopping centre. Actually, as a, as a resort, a nice resort with nice high-end hotels, Lovely promenade, a quiet resort, but 
uh, with Milanaris by far is the nicest. Porto Magana actually is really nice as well. Um, there's not too much going on there at night. As far as I know, the restaurants are really nice at night. There's not too much live music and entertainment. Whereas Milanaris has maybe got two places or three that have got some live music on at night. So it just depends what you like. Um, somebody's asking, is there any family parts in Ibiza? 100%. Um, Escana and Santa Alalia, really nice for families. Up in the north as well. There's a few places, so yeah. Mr. Mac, the most expensive thing you've ever bought while away, a 10 euros pint for Porto Benus Marbella. It still was more expensive than the Temple Bar in Dublin recently. <laughs> so there's asked me to go to Italy, yep. Uh, Paul, Albafura is not really that expensive. It is more expensive than Tenerife and Benidorm, but it's not really, really expensive. I mean, a large beer in Albafura mostly will cost you about €3. Euros. Uh, John saying, can you go a trip with your family? A nice change to solo vlogging. I have done a couple of videos with Anne um, in the UK, but she doesn't fly, so that won't be possible abroad. You might see a few UK ones. I'll be in Liverpool um, in the summer, in Inverness as well, maybe a few other places. Uh, Jamie McKechnie, thanks so much for your kind donation. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. Mr. Mac, what's the cheapest flight I've ever had? Five euros from Tenerife to uh, Scotland, Glasgow Presswick. Thanks, Ian. I might see you in Cologne. Uh, Adam, enjoy last Chris. May the 5th, May the 12th. I definitely won't be there, I'm afraid, because my 50th birthday falls in in the middle of that. So I'll be in Scotland probably then. Um, somebody's asking, do I think the UK should have stayed in the EU? Heard you need a visa soon. Not sure about the visas, but obviously what I'm doing, it'd be easier for me not to have 90 day rules, so that's that's obvious, but um, it's not really affecting me so far. Uh, Mike's asking, never get lonely? Not really. Doing the vlogs, most of the time I'm on my own. I'm so busy doing 10, 15 videos a day. I try and time it as well. Um, if I'm going away... If there's any football tournaments on or anything else on. So if I'm doing the videos at night and then I stop and I can maybe chill out, watch a game for a couple of hours. Um, I'll give an example. Like next week, at the end of next week, the Masters golf's on. And I'd normally never be away for that. I'd be in the house watching every minute. And I'm actually going to be away for a wee bit of that. But the good thing is I'll pop into a wee bar and I'll see some of it when I'm away as well. But I'll be back to see the end of it here. Uh, Denise, what's my favourite airline? Uh, I'm going to be honest, any of them. I think the cheapest one I can get, I don't really care. There is a wee bit of an advantage with Jet 2 and 2 because their baggage allowances are more generous. So if they're running about the same price, then I'm probably going to book with them. Uh, but I don't really care who I go with. Peter's asking, um, have I been to Rome yet? I've been in Rome for four hours in my life, on the way to Malta on the train years ago. Um, I should have been in for the day, but the train got delayed. I'll maybe go back one time. It's quite a mad city, Rome. Oh, Dave from Travel One World, if you're into your Lanzarote videos, he's the man. Check out Dave. Dave, I'll be waiting on you coming on. Wait to see this, Dave. Look at this. Just in case you come on, Dave, I had this ready. Mr. Travel One World, look. There's a collab there, the two of us together. <laughs> Check out his videos in Lanzarote. He's got loads. And Tenerife, he's done lots in Tenerife as well. So I'm just saying, I hope you've calmed down from last night, Dave. I know the UK media are talking nonsense, aren't they? Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Max saying the Funchal strip or the Mirador strip in Los Cristianos in Tenerife. Well, both of them are right next to each other and they're pretty good. Um, I'm always in the El Mirador strip more because there's more by bars there with live music. Um, starting off at Highland Paddy, going all the way down, you get GGs, Bojangles, Dylans, The Vault. Um, so the El Mirador strip for me has got more going on. But in saying that, the Funchal strip's got some nice wee friendly bars. It's got Sandy's for a wee bet. Around the corner, obviously, you've got the Buddies, you've got 19th Hole. The 19th Hole actually is becoming quite a lot busier. Um, so, yeah, either one will be fine. Yeah, somebody asked about cruise in Dubai, possibly. Hi, Flights, you live in Dubai. Give me some ideas for videos in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, we man, some, somebody was saying, yeah, you're going to need a visa for travelling Europe. They've been saying this now for a couple of years, so who knows if it'll come in. Eventually, one day it probably will. Um, high flights, so you're not going to Tenerife anymore? Yes, I'll always be back to Tenerife, but not in the summer ones. Between May and October, normally, I'll go other places because Tenerife's a four and a half hour flight. I can fly anywhere with good weather within a couple of hours. And... It's better to keep it fresh as well. You'd be bored. If I was in Tenerife every month, you'd be so bored of the videos. Even now, you might be bored of some of the videos. Uh, I just want to thank everybody who's come on. At one point, we had well over 300 people on, so thank you so much. We're on a wee while now. We're just going to wrap it up. Um, if you missed the start of the video, the wee update is next week, everything going to plan. I'll be in Budapest. I might be somebody else in April as well. Then after that, start of May, everything going to plan, Barcelona and Salou. Middle of May, Benidorm. Start of June, Mallorca, hopefully. Middle of June, Germany for the Euros. So that's the plan so far. They might not all happen, but that's the plans. Him and her, somebody's asking about merchandise. One day, one day. Uh, North Tenerife man, Steve, thanks for your kind comments. Your vlogs are great as well. Um, check out the videos in the north of Tenerife. The north of Tenerife is nicer than the south, in my opinion. Um, it's not as touristy. And Porto de la Cruz is lovely. I really enjoy going up there when I, when I do the videos. I don't go that much because the videos don't get as many views as they do in Las Americas and Adeke. But it's a lovely place to visit. Yeah, somebody said I went to Iceland, potentially on the list as well. There's so many places, you don't have enough time to visit them all. Um, I can only go away a couple of times a month, so it's quite limited. I'm trying to combine some destinations now. So if I go somewhere and there's somewhere quite close, you might see me doing that, like you did when I went to Turkey. I got the ferry over to Rhodes, so I've done Turkey and Greece. I'm ticking off some countries as well, so we'll wait and see. Okay, we've been on quite a long time now. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining me. Um, tomorrow, we'll have a wee video out about the cost in the tariff. It's a very short one. It's only eight or nine minutes. Um, check that out as well, okay? <laughs> I'm just laughing at the, the Dominator's comments there. Uh, please de declare your earnings for the viewers' transparency. You've obviously not watched the videos because I've explained how YouTube works in so many videos. You get paid per views. On average, a travel channel will get paid £5 per 1,000 views. If you want to know more behind the scenes, I've got an ebook. It's I'll leave a link at the end in the comments. You can check it out. Um, it's pretty transparent. So I don't know why MD is that interested, but if you are, you can check it out. Uh, Someone's asked about the Caribbean. It's a long flight to the Caribbean. Um, I don't know how many videos I get done there. I, I think I need a cruise. Every day go to a different place, that would be good. Uh, 
Thanks, Laura. Yeah, somebody was saying about working for Jet2 and then working in Dubai. Um, I've got some family working in Dubai. Dubai obviously don't pay any tax as far as I know, so that's a big advantage if you're, if you're in Dubai, you don't pay tax. The Dominator, you're winding me up. <laughs> Check out the ebook. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Um, just a wee unusual live. Maybe I'll pop up and do another live at one point. There's no videos left. You won't see any videos in this channel till probably Wednesday. Uh, oh, sorry, tomorrow. There is one on tomorrow. And if I'm out and about in Glasgow or somewhere else before I go away, maybe I'll put one on or do a live. I don't know. We'll wait and see. But it's going to be unusual. You're used to getting two and three videos a day and there'll be none coming up in the next few days. Uh, Kieran, going back to Benidorm, middle of May. Okay, thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate you all joining me. Have a great weekend and um, probably see you in Budapest. We'll wait and see. Don't know how that's going to go. I need to research it. We'll wait and see. Okay, thanks, guys. See you later.